Shea Moisture really brought a bunch of Beckys on their advertising campaign to tell you all that all hair matters. I'm the librarian. I'm and I came, and I to, came read. to read. If you're a patron on Patreon.com, you got this video earlier than people on YouTube did. I'm so happy for the support. Let's keep it going. Visit Patreon.com slash Adrian Expression. Let's keep the movement going. If my voice sounds weird this video, it's because I feel like I have a sore throat. That shit is uncomfortable as hell. But I can't stop the ball from rolling because a lot of people can't stop from cooning. And speaking of the number one coon her goddamn self, here comes Caitlyn Jenner. I need to go ahead and create some type of MMA type of ring or some shit, bitch, because every time you coons do some dumb shit, I'm going to be like, bitch, I need an announcer. And up next, we have Caitlyn Jenner. Because I'm, I'm going to smack some of you hoes logic, bitch. I'm going to beat some of that bigger than that shit that you hoes love to spew out of your goddamn mouth. And here we go talk. Caitlyn Jenner really went on to an interview. She went on to an interview to talk about, well, girl, you know, Here's the thing with the Republican Party. I support them, but I'm gonna draw the line. If y'all coming for LGBT, my community and shit like that, y'all need to stop it. You know, she was already out here talking about Trump, call me, like they finna go on a, a play date or some shit. Caitlyn Jenner told y'all in this interview, I think it was with Diane Sawyer, that she stood up to Donald Trump by not going golfing with his ass. Do you know how privileged your ass has to be to even think that standing up to Trump equates to not going golfing with him. Do you understand how much issues would not have to affect your rich ass, white ass life for you to think that making a statement is not going golfing with him? And I had some squirrel woodpecker built bitch in my fucking mentions on Twitter talking about, well girl, would you go golfing with Donald Trump if you, if he invited you? Bitch, that's not the point. No one is supposed to be going golfing with Donald Trump's cheese stick, cheese grits shaped head ass. The point is that you're comfortable enough with a bigoted ass, no IQ having ass, sack of laundry built bitch, you're, then y'all have enough of a relationship for him to even say, let's go golfing, bitch. And the second thing is, there are people out here marching in the streets, dying in the streets, organizing movements, blocking bills and shit like that, speaking out on certain pieces of legislation and then here your ass goes not golfing bitch we, we have a lot of we have a lot of shit to do first of all you're caping for these people who wouldn't even want to sit next to your ass in a town hall meeting you're supporting people who have had a history of bashing minority communities and all of a sudden you get so shocked now that some shit is going on with the LGBT community that's why I don't like some of y'all hoes y'all only are concerned about things that affect your goddamn life specifically in that moment of time not realizing that if you are a minority girl all this shit comes full circle you better protect all minorities and if you're not you're protecting none at all Caitlyn Jenner sit that bookshelf built ass right on down and since we're already on the topic of coons let's continue discussing them Rachel Dolezal took her white ass into South Africa I think it was to telling black people her experience of being black it doesn't make any sense for her ass to be going to the motherland spewing some dumb shit. But let me tell you something. Rachel, I already had some shit for your ass in previous videos, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on your soggy, wheat thins, shape head ass. I'm not gonna spend too much time on your jammed, copied, printer, paper type of tease, bitch. I'm not gonna spend too much time on that. But you are continuing to be disrespectful as hell. And let me tell you something. I'm not talking about a cottage when I say that you are constructed like cheese, bitch. Move your ass along. Get out of our minority ass business. Get out of our black ass business. Wipe the bronzer off. Take the braids out. Sit your ass down behind a counter at JCPenney where you look like you goddamn belong. Or at Clears or Joanne Fabrics. Sit your ass down. So is American Airlines out here bopping people uh, with strollers and shit like that? What the hell is going on with these people on these planes? Snakes on the plane built that. Get your asses some anger management courses because if you watch this fucking video, you see how angry that flight attendant was, girl. It just doesn't make any sense. And then you had Becky Sue over there crying. Apparently he almost hit the babies with the stroller. Let me tell you something. If you would have touched, and I don't want kids because they're too expensive and they are parasites. But if I had kids and you even tried to move your finger in the direction of their face, bitch. Bitch, I'm fighting, okay? I'm going to beat your ass on this goddamn plane. It doesn't make any sense. Some of y'all are out of line. You can tell how inappropriate the flight attendant's behavior was when we uh, see another video of this man standing up for, he doesn't even know the woman. He's standing up for her like, and he told the flight attendant like, let's meet outside. Like, what's up? If it was me, I would have beat your ass, essentially. I don't know how, how the fuck am I going to be able to fly places. It's not like my broke ass can do that in the first place. 
But really, how am I supposed to be? Do I need to go ahead and call Daenerys? Because bitch, I feel, it feels like the only way that my ass is gonna be in the air is if it's on a goddamn dragon. What's the damn tea, bitch? Do I need to take a hot air balloon? Am I supposed to hop on uh, Aladdin's magic goddamn carpet? Am I supposed to be slipping, sliding across the clouds with the help of Peter Pan lifting my ass up? What the hell am I gonna do? United is trash. American Airlines is fucking trash. I don't know what the hell's going on, but it needs to be fixed right now. But honestly, I'm glad that these incidents happened while the plane was still on the ground because I can imagine how anxiety inducing it must be for a situation to happen while the plane's in the goddamn air. We see fucking Big Bird and his friends and shit just flapping away and then you're you're stuck in the air with a trash ass flight attendant. So I need for these situations to be solved before we even take off. This is trash. I'm tired of it. Y'all already know how I feel about my black queen. Y'all are not about to disrespect my black ass woman like my mom ain't a black woman. What's going on with that? Y'all have the audacity. Shame moisture. And I know a lot of people are like, y'all are making a big deal about this. No, it, all of this shit matters. It matters. It matters because black women were the ones who brought the brand up. They put y'all in the spotlight, review after review. They built y'all asses up. And here y'all come with this problematic ass marketing messaging. And I'm not here for it. Now, if we're speaking business, of course, every business wants to expand their uh, margins. They want to expand their reach. But what you need to do is go ahead and just purchase another brand or start another brand if that's the audience that you're trying to go for. Businesses often invest their shit into multiple brands like a many made is owned by one of these big ass companies like it's a lot of shit that y'all could have done as opposed to betraying black women with this trash uh, commercial it really comes off as tone deaf I'm not understanding what's going on in the commercial we have two Beckys telling you hoes oh my god I got bullied for having blonde hair oh my god my red hair makes me different meh, meh, meh. and then we have someone else a black woman talking about her hair and we won't even get on to the fact that no hair like mine was included in the goddamn video but we're gonna keep moving this black woman speaking about her experience living with her hair and how she was bullied and ostracized for it and then we flip it flip the script and here come these ice cream bill bitches talking about oh my god people don't like my blonde hair i just have it so hard oh my god so damn disrespectful on many levels having your life chances limited uh by your hair just because of how it grows out of your head is completely different from your eurocentric standards of beauty fitting asses getting gum stuck in it one day having to worry about how the fuck you'll be viewed at a job interview if you wear your hair, how it grows naturally out of your fucking head is completely different. People, people's incomes and livelihoods are being affected, bitch. People are out here burning their goddamn hair, trying to straighten it and shit like that to fit these standards of beauty. It is entirely different. You cannot compare that shit. Uh, it was very disrespectful for y'all to juxtapose and parallel that shit like it was. What was in the same way? is not cute. I can remember in middle school, there was this one girl in my class, and she was white, and she was talking about one of my friend's hair, I think it was, or some, or some, or black people's hair in general. She was white, and she said, when I move my head, my hair moves with me. I don't know what y'all be doing. It doesn't move. It doesn't. So, from middle school, and this is middle school, we are being ostracized on the daily for not having hair that looks like wet dog. A lot of our hair looks like puffy ass clouds, and that's why we're so goddamn lifted. We're, we're elevated. We're graduated to a new goddamn level. So, for all all those social implications, all of that shit to be going on, people's livelihoods are being affected. For you guys to compare it to a bad day at the gym or some shit like that, get these red-headed blonde hoes off my goddamn screen. Uh, you could have given black, full black women from all shades of the spectrum and all hair types, you could have given them a whole commercial body guy to himself. Uh, white people don't need no help embracing their natural hair, girl. White people already have enough resources to take care of their shit. Some of them don't like to shower, so it's not our goddamn fault. White people control a lot of goddamn beauty market and shit like that. They don't need no goddamn help. We need to be focused on the marginalized community. You hear know what the fuck I'm saying? Get them out of my screen! Elmer's glue, Bill Bitches. And last but not least, we had President Barack Obama. And yes, I did say President fucking Barack Obama. I, I sure, I sure in the fuck did. He took his sexy black ass to a university in Chicago and told you, he was like, girl, what's going on? What's, what's been happening since I left? This is the first public appearance I think he's done since he took vacation after he left office. And let me tell you something, he's just smiling and glowing. He looks like a sexy ass, like a Hershey bar, like a Kit Kat bar. He looks so goddamn good. 
I don't know what the hell to do. As y'all know, Michelle was out there slaying the girls in her short shorts. The kids are not pressed about you hoes. It's just they're out here thriving and glowing, and I'm here for it. Uh, I can't wait until they get this buffoon out of the damn office. Y'all know every goddamn video, I'm going to call for Trump's fucking elimination, elimination. bitch. And he's not going to get to lip sync for his life, bitch. He needs to go ahead and hold on to his wig for damn dear life. Because the way that I'm going to be reading his ass, bitch, he's going to have no goddamn edge. Get this man out of office because he's built like a Teletubby. And it doesn't make sense for that chair in that Oval Office to be supporting all of that goddamn weight. And yet, ironically, there is no grain matter, no brain matter weight anywhere to be found. Now, shade moisture, I'm not sure, uh, maybe you thought it was opposite day because there is no reason for your name to be shade moisture and you had these dry faced ass white holes in that advertisement video. Ain't no moisture, y'all ashy. Have a good goddamn evening.